How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, let's go ahead and go back into Hamlin. Hmm. Uh, time to rummage around and do whatever the heck we want? Is, is that what it's time for? Highly doubt it, since we're still in the past. Alright. Is anything over here at the moment at all, or is it just empty? There's not even a guard over- wow. Okay, I'm gonna assume that place has nothing. Not quite a black market yet. Okay, what's over here? A roll. Can I- I actually can talk to you people, okay. Well, mom. Is the Emperor's biggest fan. Mad about him, she is. Personally, I'd like the two princess. Princess? Personally, I like the two princes. But you're so adorable. Ah, the future is looking bright. Okay, I didn't expect. Uh. A double man crush out of talking to you. <laughs> um. Okay. Alright, you know what? Let's just, let's just progress. Actually. You. Okay. I want to jump inside the door. I was hoping it would work. I hoped that, you know, it was intangible. Apparently not. How can I get off of you? Anything beneficial? Absolutely not. That one. That one could work. Yeah. Let's equip it on this little guy. Looks like I already equipped those. Um, let's put these on you and you. You know what? Screw it. We'll get five more. <laughs> I meant four. I meant four more. That actually works fine. Perfect fit. And of course, I. We actually. I want to sell stuff. Maybe that'll help. Do I have anything not equipped? That. Sell both of them, I guess. I, I, yes. Sell. Who would even be wearing these? 27. Actually, I might keep that one. Hold on, we need to figure this out. Who's wearing the things I don't want them to wear? Wrong spot. So who can actually wear that thing? Sure, why not? Is nobody able to wear the thing? We know why I'm giving these to these guys. Ah! Magic to- well, he's a physical anyway. Okay. So at this point, sell whatever I'm not using. Like this. I'm pretty sure I'm selling that for cheaper than what it actually was. And that is, I just, sure, sell it. Buy. Uh, equip them. You and you. Okay, thanks so much. Bye. That. Today is our shopping spree day. This way. But now we gotta go talk to the emperor. I think. I think that's what we gotta do. Oh. What do we do? What do we do? I don't 
don't know what I do, but I'm gonna do this. Uh, definitely looks a lot different for them to not be wearing pig suits. Definitely suitable for the area, though, especially given the name. Well, yay, I can rummage through the area for absolutely no reason. Again, I just want to jump into the door. I was really hoping the door was intangible like that. Apparently not, but I was really hoping. Intangible doors are just funny looking, you know? That door's funny looking. Has to look like this when there's no door. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Emperor. Your Majesty. Um. Uh, <gasps> Father. Uh... But why? What happened? Shadar. Shadar? Yes. He was here. He came to... to... demand our unconditional surrender. Huh? Um... But let it be known. I defied him. I would not bow to that wretch. I wouldn't blame you. No, don't. Don't try to speak. Gascon. Huh? My son. My beloved son. Huh? Well, it took you long enough. You really thought I couldn't tell. You knew. Your appearance may have changed. But I know my own flesh and blood. What the future holds is a mystery to all men. But wow. I know, I know that together, you and my oh, no. cousin can. Oh no. Believe you protect me <sighs> now and in the future. Father, no. Father, please. And now this. I just wanted. I just wanted to make you proud. You kinda already have, is probably what he would say. This oh has goodness. To Damn it! Explain. So. So where did the name Swain come from? I wonder. Okay. I wonder what's taking Swain so long. Just can't believe that he's Gascon. The heir to all of Ameleth. My mind's boggled beyond all belief, Mum. Mine was at first, but since I've played this game quite a few times. <laughs> I guess he didn't want to know us to know, huh? I suppose so. It wouldn't be the same now. We know that he's a prince. Well, I'm going to act like I don't know. Me too. Unless Swain wants to talk about it, I'm not going to say a word. That's smart. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? Oh, you don't need to worry about me, Mon. Oh, I've forgotten all about this in a bit. Couldn't remember if... Couldn't remember it if I wanted to, me. What? There's one thing I'm good at. It's forgetting. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hi, Swain. Swain. I suppose it's time to go. And I need to say goodbye to Markson first. Alright. Okay. It's today that you're leaving, isn't it? Yes, your highness. Thank you for everything. No, no. I should be thanking you. Because of you, I was able to become my father's heir. And soon, I'll formally inherit his title. Yeah, I bet the people of Amelin are glad about that at all. I mean to give them a reason to be. I want them to know that they have nothing to fear from Shadar. I refuse to let him defeat us. I want Gascon to be able to come back to Hamelon whenever he likes, after all. I must keep the Empire safe until he does so. 
You'll make a fine emperor, Marcuson. Gascon would be proud of you. Says Gascon. <laughs> I hope so. He always believed in me. And I shall never stop believing that he will come back. Looks... There's the belief we've been looking for the, for the past, like, four episodes. I think four. At least three. Look at your locket, Tolly boy. It's all a glow, man. You don't think... It must be. Markson's belief in his brother must be real strong. I'm sorry, I... Your Highness, there's something we need... Who needs your help. Someone who needs some of the strength that's in your heart. My heart? Who are you talking about? You. Well... You, your highness. In the future, I mean. In our time, a piece of your heart is missing. My future so? That's right. And we need you to share some of your belief with him. To help him get back to normal. My belief? <sighs> Very well. I can hardly refuse my own future self a piece of my heart. <laughs> you know, I wonder why. <laughs> Hold on. Before I do that, I gotta... The door is wide open. Why is the door wide open? Ugh, I can't even... There. Jumping right into it. This is an unnatural door. Need to jump into it. L let me first... Oh, fine. Fine. I would gladly share my heart. Come, take it. Okay. <laughs> You obtained some belief. Thank you very much, Your Highness. There's no need to thank me. Now please, give that belief to my future self. But before you go... Swain? Yes? When you return to your time, please give my regards to my future brother. You really didn't hear him, did you? I'll be sure to do that, Your Highness. Right here. Back to the future, it is. You know what spell you want. Don't you, Adeba? Good time, ain't it? Yeah, I, I think so. No. What? I I, I Dang it. Fine. Where is it? I've got so many spells of this at this point. Okay, all together. Today, tomorrow, yesterday, send us safely on our way! Here we go. Oliver's gone. They've all gone. Don't worry, they'll be back. In like... 20 years. <laughs> still in the same place? No way, man. That's impossible. I know when a spell works, and that spell worked right and proper. If it didn't, we would still see guards and the prince with us. We're back in our own time, no doubt about it. Yeah, this place is... different, somehow. Swain. We made it back. That's all that matters. Now, isn't there someone we should be helping? Uh, of course. Come on, Oliver. Let's find Marcus then. Sure thing. Let's go give him his belief back. We took it from him, now we're giving it back. Great. Let's... Wait. The doors are gone. I think it worked. Too early in the episode, it's only 15 minutes in, but... I have rid myself of said damn doors. Oh. Wait. They're back. can't even jump. Oh, come on, fine. Rid myself of the in the tangible, inconsistently hideous doors. <laughs> Rid of all the doors in this place. They're all they're all inconsistent. They're all horrifying. <laughs> Hi. Get out of here. Go. Be gone. I say. But that's still heartbroken. That's for. Defin That's for definite. 
a shadow of his former self he is. He needs a dose of belief, and he needs it snappy. All right. Come along. That's what his dad would have wanted. Cease your maddening chatter, fairy. My father died fi 15, not 20. My bad. Do not claim to know his will. So all that carry on was 15 years ago, was it? This poor lad's been on his own ever since. That's tragic. Uh, your highness, we brought you something, a gift. It's from 15 years ago. We got it from, well, we got it from you. A anyway, if it's okay, we'd like to have it back. What did you say? What is the meaning of this? The meaning of this is what I'm about to do. Here you go, belief. You need this. <laughs> like, more than anything else right now. What is this? This, this glow. What's happening? What is the this warmth that spreads within my breast? What have I been doing? All this time I have been so misguided. Rishida, your highness. You took the belief from your heart. My heart? My belief? Wait. I felt... I, I feel... I believe in people once more. I want to believe in people. It has been so long since I feel... I felt this way. Does this mean... Does this mean that you saved me? Was it you who gave me back the capacity to believe? It was, Your Highness. I did promise, didn't I? I promised I'd come back and help you if you were in trouble. Wherever you were, no matter how far away. Wherever... I... I see. <laughs> now I see. <laughs> you came back. I always knew that you would. Thank you. There's really no need to thank me, Your Highness. Your Highness, we need your help. We want you to help us to... to defeat... Shadar. What did you say? You mean to face Shadar. That is impossibly reckless. I am a great sage, and yet... Shadar was able to enter my heart and take a piece of it with impunity. Oh, trust me, you're not the first. And yet I was saved, just as I was promised. Yeah, I mean, it's a good thing your brother was there for you, wasn't it? Also, this is actually starting to nag me. Probably through the episode, and we're going to start here from now on. That was delayed. I don't care. <laughs> Very well. I shall assist you. Together we will defeat the Dark Jinn. Shadar's days are numbered. They sure are. Thank you so much, Your Highness. I knew you wouldn't let us down. <laughs> and that is why you're the Emperor, Marcuson. <laughs> I mean, also because... Well, well. What are we to make of this? It seems the Savior managed to acquire Mornstar after all, and somehow managed to travel back to the present. I would have thought that far beyond his meager power. <laughs> The power to breach time can be used but once in a mortal's life, can it not? It would what would happen if he did use it again? I don't remember. More assistance and that his benefactor possesses formidable powers. Powers on a par with our own. Huh. This supposed helper of his is no mere dabbler in the magical arts. Such powers recall those of that ancient king without whom our magic wand could not exist. Yes, I speak of my but that would father. Be a truly terrifying proposition. If one such as he were to fear not, should the need arise, I shall take action myself. If I remember Your correctly, her father was the wizard king. <laughs> I do. He cannot hope to defeat me. And I will tell you why. I don't think I want to know why. <laughs> We're gonna find out why anyway, aren't we? Oh, no, we're not good. <laughs> Alright, everyone, listen. 
In order to defeat Shadar, we must first break down his defenses. Now, the Dark Jinn is protected by a magical barrier known as the Black Barrier. The Black Briar. The Black Briar? Yes. It is a cloying magical barrier which no spell can permeate. permeate. Neither Rashad nor Alicia were able to overcome the Black Briar. That is why Shadar was able to defeat them. And with the other great sages in incapacitated, he was able to delve deep into my own heart and steal a piece of it. But now, Moxa, oops, I mean, your majesty, come along now, Esther. I once fought alongside you as a child. There's no need for you to use my royal title. Same goes for all of you. Sure, your majesty. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, Oliver. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Now, I would dearly love to accompany you on another journey. One where we grow strong together. Strong enough to defeat Shadar. But protecting the Empire has to be my first priority. There is also the small matter of rectifying the many mistakes I made whilst broken hearted. Yeah, there are quite a few. <laughs> I comfort myself with the knowledge that you now possess a wand that should enable you to defeat Shadar without my aid. Oliver. Mornstar once belonged to the Wizard King. Yep, that's who I was talking about. I'm pretty sure the Wizard King is uh, the White Witch's dad, if I remember correctly. It is said to have the power to overcome any enchantment. That must surely include the Black Briar that protects Shadar. Unfortunately, however the wand you have in your possession is not complete... The wand you have in your possession is not complete. Eh? Not complete? Oh, eh? Not complete? What do you want about? Mornstar's true power is beyond most wizards' comprehension. It is so powerful, indeed, that the ancient king who created it decided that its power should be divided between three magical stones. These three stones were then sealed away, far from the wand itself. So, we need to go find them, right? Yes, but I have an apology to make in that regard. Huh? Why? What have you done? A map detailing the location- That was a horrible way of saying that, Oliver. What have you done? <laughs> Jeez. What have you done? You disintegrated all the doors of the past. Literally and metaphorically. <laughs> Good gravy. I should be looking this way, not this way. A map detailing the locations of the three stones was once in my possession. I'm afraid, however, that it has been stolen. Stolen? While I was brokenhearted, I must confess that I became rather neglectful of the palace's treasures. Books and maps would often disappear. To my shame, I actually observed several such thefts, and did nothing. You were broken hearted, what are you supposed to do? That sounds about right. I found it hard to care about anything much when I was broken hearted. Well, this is a bit flippin' rum. If the, thing, if the thief who pinched the map uses it to get a hold of the stones, what do you think he's going to do with them? I do not know. What I do know, however, is the identity of the thief. Well, that's actually good enough for me. <laughs> His name is Kablai. He styles himself King of the Sky Pirates. Kablai? What are the people to tangle with? I should have known you two would be thick as... Um... Anyway, I don't suppose you know where he is, do you? That's the thing with the Sky Pirates. You never know where they are. They're always moving from hideout to hideout on these giant airships. Yeah, I can find that beard. That beard. Mm. <laughs> I need to bang down a door again. They better be existed in this realm. There better be some incapacitated doors in this realm. Otherwise, I'll go. What? Incapacitated doors. If any of them are capacitated. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Be that as it may. Locating Kablai is still the easiest way for you to recover the three magical stones. 
He is very unlikely to cooperate peacefully, however. I had better teach you some new spells, Oliver. Okay, ward. I don't know how that's gonna help. I don't remember how it helps, but apparently it helps. Fuse? How in the world is- what? How's Fuse gonna help? I can see how that one would help. You will almost certainly be doing a lot of traveling on your search for Kablai. Therefore, let me grant you one last spell. Finally! <laughs> this is gonna make things a lot easier. What does it do, your, uh, Marcuson? It instantly trans- <laughs> The spell is called Travel. What do we think it does? It makes me drink a cup of water. <laughs> it makes me drink a cup of water. <laughs> Yum. It instantly transports you to any location you have already visited. While I am unable to accompany you on your travels, I can at least make them pass more comfortably. That's great. Then it means we can come and see you anytime you like, Marcuson. <laughs> Indeed. Be sure to use it to return to some of the other places you have visited on your journey and find out what has changed. If you have the MP to do it. That's what I don't like about travel. However, I think it's just like one MP. I don't think it's very much. If you visit the Temple of Trials, for example, you will now be able to take part in the Solosium series, organized by my old teacher, Solomon. Oh, wow. I'd almost completely forgotten about Solomon and the Temple of Trials. I haven't, because I know I'm going to do it, and it's going to suck. <laughs> Our first priority, though, is to find Kublai King and Sky Pirates. True that. Come on, Wala. The next chapter of our adventure starts here. It does. Let's go. <laughs> oh, cool. We have an easy way to get out. Yay. Get yours done and over with now. I say, it's you, dear boy. It feels like an absolute age since our jaunt on the delightful fairy island. What? You have impeccable timing, you know. Oh, jeez. Let me take a wild guess. You need me to find your freaking diary again. Tim Goodis says he's lost his flippering diary again. How? Because you've lost it like four other times already, dude. Actually, I think it's exactly four times. Looks like I won on the Tibet, don't it? On the boy? Kind of so and so. I am most dreadfully ashamed. There I was, merely poodling along the open road when some loudish monsters assailed me. I took fright and fled to the city nearest outpost of civilization I could find. What were you doing over here? How did you even get over here? How'd you get to the fairy island, too? I mean, those are... Ugh, whatever. And then you thought you'd write all about it in your precious diary, only to find the thing had gone missing again. Am I right? <sighs> this fool. This freaking idiot. Fine. Only for the points, though. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Oh, I guess we can help you find it again, mister. You will? Oh, I say, that really is awfully good of you. Hold on, man. You are being chased by monsters. You could have dropped it at just about flippant anywhere. I actually already know where it is, so I'm going to ignore what you have to say, mainly because I don't want to listen to you. So, you got surrounded by monsters? Yes. It's about the size of it. So if I were to hazard a guess, I would say the diary is on the railway tracks near- Yeah, I know. <sighs> Alright, where's your home? Must be around here somewhere. Just gotta jump right into it. Jump right into the hole. Frickin'. If only the 
doors were still uh, were s still intangible when I came last. There's an intangible door right there, and I do not like it. That's the wrong way. This is the right way. But this is also where I don't want to go. Because I don't want to do that guy's side quest again. What is wrong with this dude? So, I believe it's actually just right below me. If I remember correctly. Which I hope I do. Heh. <laughs> I've attacked the- wait. Yeah, everybody's gonna be afraid of me at this point. <laughs> I got... dang it. That was a bit. I don't think it's possible to go down there, is it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. I was thinking of the wrong spot. Over here. Over here. should be along these ones. Here? Yep. Look, Mr. Chippy, it's that gentleman's diary. What the heck was he thinking? Hanging about all these trucks by a... Sure is lucky we found it, huh? Come on, let's go give it back. How are you not annoyed yet, Oliver? I annoy I was annoyed the first time I saw him. Then again, I've... I guess 98% of this game, since the other little bit to 100% it, without getting all the freaking, uh, whatchamacallits. To me, 100%ing and completing are not quite the same thing. Alright, Buster Brown. Time to give you back your damn diary. I'll probably cut the episode short after that just because I know there's a lot that we're going to be getting done next time, so we'll give him this and then leave the video there. Actually, you know what? Hello. Developing new technology is far from easy, but it is deeply rewarding. Gee, sure sounds like you love what you do. What are you working on right now? Well, might you ask? I am afraid I cannot work at present. Huh? Why not? It's my chief engineer. Came into the laboratory the other day and told us that he had decided to abandon his research for good. What would make him do something like that? Not the faintest idea. But I'm sure it will all work out in the end. He was always a man of vision. That can't change overnight. Yes, it can. I think I know how. Someday he will dust off his lab coat and return to his research. Gee, Mr. Trippy, he sure does have a lot of belief in his boss. You're spot on there, Ollie boy. You couldn't do us a bit of, fav of a favor, could you? Maybe you said? Well, I don't see why not. Tell me. Tell me, what can I do for you? We'd like you to share your belief with others. Don't worry. It's not as weird as it sounds. Just hold still for a moment. It doesn't sound weird, Oliver. That doesn't sound weird at all. I mean, I guess I can see why you would think it would. Because you're literally taking it, but... I can't see why that's what he would think. Maybe there's somebody we need to help who is missing their belief. Oh, I feel rather peculiar here. Thank you very much. I hope you get back to work soon. I have no doubt I shall be back to work before long. You're not wrong. If the guy you're talking about is the guy I'm thinking of. Anyway, let's go take back this... Dumbass's diary. <sighs> Wait, hello. I guess we're not going back yet. I found myself in my wife's bad books, I'm afraid. She lost her temper and threw me out of the house. Jeepers, that's no good. I made her lose her temper. Well, for years we have always celebrated our wedding anniversary together. Just the two of us. This year I had to work. And she didn't like that one little bit. So here I am, out on the street. Trouble in paradise, seems, to, seems like. Oh, it's nothing serious. Wait, aren't you the one who pays the bill? Shouldn't you be living in there still? Does she have that right? I don't know. 
world. Maybe this world is different. She's a bit sad about spending our anniversary apart, but I don't think she's really angry. She's a wonderful wife, even if she sometimes has trouble expressing her feelings. Look, the locket is glowing. Cricket! Oh, that's just more belief. Dad, nab it! Yeah, I know. I'll pick it up later, I guess. Dang, nab it. I said I wasn't going to do this before. I think I've already run into you, though. Oh, you need courage. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to help you yet. Okay, here you go, you freaking moron. <sighs> but if I ever hear you say you've lost your Bali diary again, you and me will have a proper falling out, boyo. Have my word as a gentleman that don't say that. I know it's gonna happen again, don't say that. I think it happens at least two or three more times, too. <sighs> Please take this. A set of gaudy claws. Cool. Yay, I helped somebody. I sound so enthusiastic about that, don't I? <sighs> I am very annoyed by this guy, though. I will always be annoyed every single time I see him. But it is what it is, I guess. Let's go check the board really quick before ending the episode. I said I would end it after that, but I want to check the board. At least start at um, sort of solutions next time. So I'm sure there's a lot to do. Don't surprise me in the slightest. Hello. Can I? I was gonna say, can I come in, please? <sighs> the reason we came in here though was more to check this. Can we claim merit awards at all? Uh, yes, we can. You exchanged three merit stamp cards for the Cracker Jack Merit Award. So basically what I'm going to do as far as 100% is I just have to collect all these. Once all of these have been earned, that'll count as 100% for me and we'll stop. And do the final boss after that. Even though technically we have to do the final boss beforehand, I'll do that on screen maybe. Either way around, I am going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Wait. door is back. I have to open it from the outside. No. Nope. I tangibly had to walk through that. No. I can't. Why can't I jump? This is ridiculous. Fine, we're gonna pretend. I will deal with the door. But as I said, in the meantime, I'm gonna leave this video here. Stupid, tangible doors. If you like this video, though, push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel, have a suggestion for a Bandai Namco or level 5 game you'd like to send here, let me know in the comments below. I have done one level 5 game before, as I mentioned before. That one is still the only one I've done to this point, and if you want to check out what, how far I actually did get in that video, click the link down there. Um, maybe in the future I'll end up redoing it, it might be a full playthrough at that point, I don't know, we'll see. Before I, as of this recording, it's not complete. <laughs> Check it out if you want to, though. Or if you missed any of the stops on this right to this point, click the, click, click, ugh, the link across my head here. Try and take it to those. In the meantime, the train's off to its next destination, but hope to catch you guys in another ride.